Hey guys, it's Bucks, William 501 slash Jackson Wolf XC here. It's time to go wrestling. Okay, so today, we're looking at the Gundam Age 1 Titus. I will do comparisons between the normal Titus and Spallow when I review the Spallow. So, sorry, not going to do comparisons between those two today. Um, those are coming. Just to get into this guy. Dropping straight in, you do get the original shoulders, so if you want to do something stupid with that, then go ahead. Now the shoulder mount's the same size. I'm pretty sure the mounts are the same size, so you may be able to have a Titus with blue shoulders. Don't know why you want to, but whatever. Um, so anyway... Yeah, this guy actually has better leg articulation than the original because he doesn't have front skirts or side skirts, so yeah, a lot less hindrance in there. However, the bulk makes him a little harder to maneuver. But you can get some pretty nice wide stances with this guy. Um his ankle joint is actually really nice. It's actually a really interesting ankle build. For the simple reason that you have a, an ankle part that goes around back and connects to the ankle in a weird way. And that's because this needs to move a lot. Because he is going to be using his knee as a weapon. And I just held that guy by his waist. And if you do, if you do get a stand for this guy, which I just may, having this guy sort of charging forward with the um, knee, the shoulder, and the lariat on one side, just sort of like this, I can see him using all three in one attack. Now, in terms of accessories, this guy has none. It does come with this weird little thing that the normal came with too. I don't know what it is. If you guys do know what, tell me. The only place I can see it going is right here. To be like some kind of Gundam Age when it's not the Gundam Age. Like the Age system is not functioning or something. I don't know. But I'll get that out. I think you have to pull off the cover to get that out, in fact. Yeah, you do. I remember. I, I, I did this with the age one. With the normal, I mean. Not the age one, because this is the age one, too. Okay, so now, in order to convert this into being ready to use the shoulder... Shoulder smash, I believe it's called. Excuse me if I'm wrong. Um, it's not just as simple as putting effect parts in. You actually pull this out. Got separation there. And that. then you take four of these little beam effect parts. Which are, they do have to go in a specific way. So mind that. Be mindful of that. So just sort of line them up and try to get them in there. And when you do that, you'll be left with a pretty pleasing, pretty nice little effect, like so. And same for the knees, you just line up three of these little effect parts, same ones for the shoulders, into the knees, and give him his knee spikes. The pretty awesome little feature there. And then you could take one of these lariat discs and give him his beam lariat. 
Uh, how you do that is you have to pull out his giant hand, then rip this red piece off, put the disc on at that point. Once you rip that part off, put the red piece back on. And then put the hand back on underneath it. Now this guy is starting to look ridiculous. And you'd think that's enough for Bandai to give you, wouldn't you? Like, four of the shoulder tackle ones, three of these, maybe one more of these. You can do two shoulder tackles, two knee kicks, or a shoulder tackle and a knee kick. No. No, Bandai is going to go all the way with these. Uh, I'll put all of the effect parts in now. Put three more of these in the knees. And then you can pull out the shoulder thing here. However, you don't have to do that in order to attach them. They will attach if you forget to pull that out. Not putting any stress on it. It's um, if you're thinking that, like, if you think if you've already built this guy and you think that you're putting stress on it, up. What the heck happened? I'm missing a beam spike. Ah, crap. Well, that kind of sucks. I'll find that eventually. In fact, I know where it is. It's probably where I built this guy. Over at my desk. I know I'm not filming reviews at my desk. That's because my desk is a mess again. I don't have room for my laptop, honestly, over there. So, yeah. But, um, yeah, put on the other Lariat disc. And now you've got the um, Age 1 Titus all affected up. And this guy has one heck of a lot of effect parts. I gotta say, that's pretty freaking sweet. Having all those effect parts on one guy. Did I drop one of these? Up, oh, found the last one. Got itself caught in its um, manual. So I knew it didn't get far. Um, cause I did this last night, and I'm like, and I put it. I actually just undid this guy right before the review, so I knew it couldn't have gotten far. But yeah, so here's the here he is with all of his effect parts. Four four effects on each shoulder, the two lariats around the hands and then the knees. I don't see what situation there could be in which all of these could be used at once. I mean I guess two Bach toes on either side of him where he would be like hacha here this is the way I think he'd need to be in order to use all of the effect parts either that or kicking either that or kneeing somebody in the front of him Maybe like two, maybe like kneeing a guy over here, kneeing somebody in front of him, and then using this on somebody over here, and maybe the lariat on somebody behind him or something. Like this maybe. Actually, that doesn't look half bad. From this angle, that doesn't look half bad. 
I actually like, like, there, with all the effect parts, this actually looks pretty darn good. Ah, uh, yeah. I may actually end up displaying this guy like this. The way I was going to display him was, um, does this guy have an action base connector? Oh, yes, he does. You can unplug a part in his crotch, and then he's applicable with an action base. Now, the thing is, the reason that I sort of don't want to put this guy in an action base is because he's pretty much the ground type. This guy is not designed for space combat. I mean, this guy doesn't have a long-range weapon on him. That's why he's kind of dependent on the G-axis in this mode. Because the G-axis is more balanced. But yeah. He's pretty cool. I like him. Uh, so, next. Next up, and last up, for now, is the... Dick Biscuit and all of Gundam Age. Do they actually have Dezel in here? Was this released late enough into the game that we have Dezel? Nope. There is no mention of Dezel. But yeah, Dezel's mobile suit, the um, Zetus. And actually, my favorite. UE suit. Despite the fact that I hate the character, I, I, th I think I'm actually going to do a custom Zetus and make it um, blue and red, or blue and gray, light gray, and yeah, so not that puke gray that they have on there. The Zetus review will either be up tonight or tomorrow. I don't know if I'm going to do another one tonight. Sorry, I can't be more specific. But, honestly, at this point, I've done five reviews. I don't know if I'm going to do a sixth. So, see you guys at the next review.